Frida Kahlo, made by Valeria Gallegos La Bandera. Magdalena Carmen Frida Kahlo Calderón was born in Coyoacán, July 6 of 1907. She, she, Frida's most notable physical features were her furrowed eyebrows, her flushed cheeks, her shorter and thinner leg with a less developed foot, a product of polio. Her strong and arrogant personality manifest and express itself in different ways through her existence. Petting being one of the language through which she expressed her own life, experience, and feelings. Frida Kahlo had a complex life marked by serious events that had a decisive influence on the character of her works. At the age of six, she contracted polio, a disease that caused serious consequences such as the inability to have a children. Later, in 1925, she suffered a very serious bus accident that kept her convalescing for a long period of time. During her recovery, Frida Kahlo began to immerse herself in the world of painting, reflecting her tragic reality through her self-portraits. Frida made about 200 works, most of which were self-portraits in which she reflected how hard her life was affected by poliomyelitis and a serious car accident in her youth that caused serious injuries that put her to bed most of the rest of her life. Frida Kahlo knew it was the end. On Julie, of 1954, one of the most magnificent creatures that ever walked this world left for good. Only four, 47 years old had a woman who had begun to die at the age of 18 when the bus in which she was traveling was run over by a tram, leaving her affect after effects that she would drag on for the rest of her life. The woman who emerged from that mass of iron had little to do with the young woman who entered. There were up to 32 surgical operations throughout his life. With the aim of fighting the consequences of a spine split in three, a pain that she could not bear in his last days. A week before she died, Frida Kahlo would take her brush and after dripping it in red paint, she would write about one of her works with several watermelons, Viva la Vida, Coyoacán, 1954, Mexico. The work had probably been painted for a few years. However, among all her paintings, Frida Kahlo chose this still life of watermelons, so commonly associated with the day of the dead and with skeleton fissures. It was a farewell to a woman and the object of study of multiple art specialists through sub subsequent decades. Owed to life for its goodbye, response to fascism and long lived dead by Jose Millan Astray. Founder of the legend. Be that as it may, it seems unacceptable to speak through the mouth of Frida Kahlo, who never accept such a thing. So thank you for seeing this. This is my project for English about Frida Kahlo. I hope you enjoy it. And Thank you again for watching this. Bye.